Hey guys, how you doing? I have a clip for you, but I'm gonna narrate the clip really quickly before I show it to you. So you have Ayala on the Ebony K. Williams show, uh, The Grio, and interesting questions that she's posing. She is posing some very interesting questions, and it almost seems like uh, Ebony is almost like attacking. I wouldn't wanna say attack, but she's coming down hard on Ayala, and it's like, that's odd because what she does she's like she's a therapist she's very therapeutic but to sum it up she helps people with their relationships whether that's like dealing with sobriety so they can better have a relationship with family friends or whoever uh is seeking to better their relationship for that intervention and she also like you know does other things like books and other shows i'm guessing right or lives and talks i'm pretty sure of it and on the other hand uh ebony williams i'm not too i really don't know too much about her obviously she's in the daytime tv show business and um you know what i seen her i put two and two together this lady was on the breakfast club not too long ago she was on a breakfast club talking about uh she got she went to a sperm bank and she got like a sperm donor and basically she was on the breakfast club promoting her new book like maybe this month talking about that and i'm like that's crazy that this clip now is going around you know of her basically thumping hard on ayanla a therapist someone who you know basically is in that field on dating you can say that dating relationships the works right She's coming down on her, but this lady is promoting her new book and, you know, she has a sperm donor. So I'm wondering, like, like, where does she get off with questions like this if she's, like, touting how proud she is about making that decision on how she's going to procreate? And she was going in depth with it right so that's that's where i'm a little bit confused at and uh that's why i'm just like nah she's wrong off top and then uh she she drove it home she really did drive it home uh she was coming off you know what let me just go ahead and play the video for y'all and i'm gonna come back with it Ed that you cannot teach a man or tell a man how to be a man. So I will not ask you to indict men in this question. But I do want you to speak, Ayanla, to how women need to, uh, I don't know, position ourselves so that we can be in our divinity, so we can have our crowns right, how we can create and not build, when some of us, quite frankly, feel that the men that are available to us, and I'm talking about across the color spectrum, across the age spectrum, trust me, I've done them all, um, they are not positioned to protect nor provide because of some of the statistics we just talked about. They're not earning the incomes. They're not having the resources, and some of them are not even showing up in the leadership. Would you date a bus driver? You, would you date if a bus driver? If he owns the bus. If he owns no. it, if he owns the bus, See, that's a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem okay. because the standards and requisites, and I'm not talking about him laying on his sofa playing video games all day. <laughs> I'm not talking about mm -hmm. that. But the standards and the criteria that we use to measure men is off for who mm -hmm. we are as women and who they are in this society. I would date a bus driver if he was, if he loved driving the bus, if he was a man of integrity, if he was good to his mama, if he treated me well, I would date. Wow. She was stumping hard, right? And if you, if you're not learned and you don't, you know, do your research and you're not, you know, you're just not privy to basically the generality of this conversation that they're having then you would be like, whoa, man, dumbfounded. Let me get on my grind. You know, she is, she's hitting hard. Straight up, I'm, I'm, I'm coming. Like, this is, what she's talking about is like maybe a very, very, very small percent of, of, of women, right? Uh, but, I mean, I guess there's some truth in it. 
right? It's her truth. She went to a sperm bank. She like can't find a partner. So I'm guessing like she's talking about herself, right? That's what that's where I'm saying. Like she's she's getting on this dating coach, relationship coach, thumping on her, getting on her head, hitting her hard because she actually can't find a man. She went to a sperm bank and now she's thumping on the man too. After getting on her, she's thumping on the man, you know, just by like blatantly coming at her like that, having her on her show, asking for her or whatever. It's like, now you're coming at the man hard, like, well, you know, men, they really, you know, they, they don't have no security and, uh, and they don't have the money. They just don't have the finances, the finances to, you know, to to build and have a stable home with. Well, based on research uh, and you just like in generality, like men date across and down women date across and up. So if you're a woman, you're probably going to be with a man who, you know, uh, makes more money than you. OK. Uh, financially right if you're looking at you know if you're talking financially or in age wise women normally date up or across right same thing for for, for men right they normally uh, are looking for a, a woman that's younger than they are uh, right with fertility and just like you know youthful looks and financially most men are going to date. They're going to be making more money than their, than their spouse, than the, the person that they're dating. Right. That's generally how it works. Right. Generally speaking, there are some um, situations that, you know, that this occurs. Right. And, I, and definitely in her situation, she's probably going to be making more money than um, I mean, if you take that leadership role. Right. You're taking that role where you're making a lot more money. You're probably going to be dating someone who makes, you know, less money than you if you're not willing to you know take any concessions in that relationship right a man who's gonna who, who out earns you he's gonna you know he's gonna expect you to do some things but you're focused on your job and potentially out earning him so you're not gonna be willing to make those concessions or, or, or it's gonna be very difficult for you to do so if you don't meet in that golden you know goldilocks stage or whatever right but uh that's what I wanted to say on that, man. I just, I mean, it's really, it's clear if you, you know, you just do some research, you read on it a little bit, or, you know, you watch a few videos, you know, rebuttals is just going to pop into your head. That's literally what it is because you've seen that information uh, in front of you, you know, it's been displayed to you before, so you can pick up on it. But like, this seems like someone who is just really upset and mad and what, Ayala did what she asked. She asked. She asked this lady a very true question: Would you date a bus driver? A bus driver is not broke. He, I mean, maybe if he's just starting off or whatever. But if this guy is a bus driver, he's not. He's not living on the street. He's not homeless. He can get himself an apartment. Okay, he can be able to feed himself. Okay. And her response was to look down. And let me show you something too. I, okay, look, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm gonna just show you this. That shows deception. The way she went asked this question. Must I remind you? This is her show, The Grio. This is Ebony K. Williams' show, and she can't even look her guest in the eyes. This is so sad. This is sickening. When asked a question, she's, I mean, she's just, she just went on like, I want to say at least a minute rant in her statement or question to Ayala. And then when Ayala uh, asked her, hey, would you date a bus driver? She just looks away. That shows deception. That shows dishonesty. And then just silence, not even answer her. So she looks up at the TV, right? I mean, well, she looks up at the, you know, at the monitor. And Ayala's like, you, yeah, yeah, I'm talking to you. This is, you know, this is your show. We're having an interview. This is insanity, guys. I'm telling you right now, this is insanity. This lady is making this amount of money, has this amount of social presence, and can't even look someone in the eye when speaking or answer when asked a question. 
Think about that. Think about that. And obviously, you know, she she's linked in pretty good. She's out here with uh I forgot this name, but I know he had a com a comedy show. I forgot this dude's name. It'll come to me. But uh he had a comedy show on TV. Uh and he just won a major lawsuit maybe a few years back. He won a major lawsuit against the networks. And they paid him I mean they paid him outright. It, it was ridiculous. This guy won by a landslide ridiculous amount of earnings that you know that he received from that and you know they got the judges out there judge mathis and you know this other lady who was a judge so she's she she's well connected in the daytime tv show business or whatever right she has some friends okay and there's mark lamont hill in there too so obviously she's connected but i'm just saying how do you get away with behavior like this how do you who is elevating you when you're acting like this, right? Okay? That's all I'm saying. Who's elevating you when you're acting like You can't even look people in the eye. You can't even look your guest in the eye. And you're the host. And you're doing all this crazy. And then you're going to blame. Now, let me get to the bulk of it. She asks her, hey, would you date a bus driver? And it was almost disrespectful if she took it, if you could, I mean, her response, physically, physically just looking at it, she took it as like the most disrespectful thing that you could do was ask her that question. When you brought her on your show, therapist, relationship coach, basically, to ask her about relationships and how can women better, you know, uh, you know, fix their divinity and their crown and all this other mumbo jumbo. But then when asked a question in a reply, basically, you know, she she's 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 uh, giving the silent treatment to where she has to like say, hey, you. Yeah. Wake up. We're, you know, we're on TV. What are you doing? You know, are you passing or, or are you taking the bus driver? She says no. So there you go. If you're a good man and you drive a bus, they're, they're passing on you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Straight up. That's what it is. That's what it is. So, um, yeah. Peace, guys. I'm out.